Hey everyone, Ryan Ecker here with Peak Endurance Solutions. In this video, I'm going to be going over a couple basic drills that I like to use with beginners to help get them a little bit more comfortable with what it feels like to be um, horizontal in the water or to be parallel with the bottom of the pool. Um, so one of the things that a lot of beginner swimmers struggle with is feeling what it's like to be swimming um, on top of the water or to be swimming without that backside kind of dragging through the water. So ideally, what we want to see when we're swimming from the side is we want to see a torso um, and a lower body that's pretty level with the bottom of the pool. Um, and that's going to reduce the amount of water that's hitting your body um, front on as you're swimming through the water. So, so pretty basic for reducing the amount of drag that you're creating um, and for being able to move through the water a bit quicker. So two drills that uh, beginners can uh, practice in order to develop better awareness of what their body is doing in the water um, and what it feels like to be on top of the water is to practice floating on your stomach and floating on your back and these drills are actually a little bit harder than they sound uh, especially to do it without kicking at all um, but what you do is essentially for floating on your stomach I'll go ahead and play this video here so you can see it um, but you're gonna have your arms either outstretched overhead or at your side if you want and you're just going to try and think about getting your torso and your lower body to stay as level or on top of the water as possible. Now I'm not the greatest at this so in this video I'm kicking lightly to try and keep my uh, my torso level with the water um, but what you really want to think about is trying to press that chest down and contract your abdominals and your lower back to try and bring your backside up towards the surface because what happens is we oftentimes let our chest kind of rise up and then our backside just drifts down. Um, so with this, you're trying to think, you're trying to negate that and you're trying to press that chest down in the water and engage the core to pull the backside and the legs up. Um, so I'll go ahead and play the video so you can see it. But I'm just trying to stay up and stay level in the water and I'm kicking lightly to do so, but once you get really good at this, you might not even have to kick lightly to do so. All right, so that's floating on your stomach, and then the next one is floating on your back. And so again, I'm kicking lightly in this one to keep myself upright. Um, and it's a little bit harder to do it on your back, at least I think personally, um, than it is to do it on your stomach. But on this one, you're trying to think about, again, pulling your chest down, but more importantly is contracting your abdominals and engaging your core, trying to draw your stomach in to pull the, uh, the bottom half of you up. So go ahead and play it so you can see what it looks like. And again, I'm kicking lightly. And I'm not kicking with good form either. I'm just trying to think about keeping my torso level in the water. Um, but the goal here is to just get a kind of a kinesthetic feel or, or an awareness around what it feels like to have the bottom half of your body staying afloat in the water. So it's a really, really basic drill, uh, but a lot harder than it sounds like it would be to do. Um, so again, a drill that I like to give beginners, but not only just beginners, um, even those who are a little bit made more intermediate or advanced who might struggle with keeping their, uh, their torso and the rest of their body level in the water. Um, so a couple of great drills that you can do to work on your body position. If you have any questions on these, feel free to shoot me an email at peakendurancesolutions um, at outlook.com. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video.